Okay, before I start today's launch box and Sega Model 3 emulator setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup content like this one you're watching today, and it also helps out my channel a lot. So we're looking at launch box today and putting this together with Sega Model 3. So first of all, Sega Model 3 particular files and configurations are headache to find and yeah it's just a complete headache really so what we're going to do is actually use a front-end system known as retrobat in order to get those files so we're kind of going to use and abuse retrobat to get the goodness out of this so what we're going to do first of all if you're unfamiliar with retrobat i'll leave the link in my description so you can download it yourself it's absolutely free we're just going to go download retrobat downloads now and downloads now again and no thanks just take me to the downloads the version you want to download is the top one just here so this is the latest retrobat version 6 released 26 days ago now if you want a full comprehensive guide on setting up retrobat i'll also leave the link in my description so you can check retrobat out yourself i've covered this front end system a ridiculous amount of times so what we're going to do is just download that Retrobat version 6 is just over a gigabyte to download. Now, once you've downloaded Retrobat version 6, we're going to install it. So, I've already got it on my desktop. And we're just going to install this into C drive. And as we know, if you don't want it, once we get what we want from it, we can just delete it. So, we're going to go to English, obviously, or whatever language you're speaking. If you're not speaking English, then obviously select which language. Okay. And we're going to start installing this so next and set the agreement next and next again now like i said we're going to install this to c drive if you want to use retrobat then obviously go to browse and then select whether it is you want this installed to for this i'm going to just install to c drive okay so once we finish setting up retrobat what we're going to do is just press finish Next thing what we need to do is actually open up. So I'm obviously going to delete the setup executable because that's going to be confusing having two shortcuts. So let's just open up Retrobat. Okay, so we're now inside a Retrobat, and what I'm going to do is just press on my D-pad to the left, or if you're using a keyboard, press on your left cursor, and I'm going to enter into this Retrobat logo, and I'm pressing A to get in there, and what I'm going to do is just use my D-pad to come down and find Supermodel. So, run Supermodel, Model 3. So, if I press A on this... Cool. So I now need to install Supermodel. So if I press yes on this, and this is going to bring up Sega Model 3 UI, which everyone struggles to find nowadays. So what we're going to do is just close out of here. And if I just press start on my controller, if you're using a keyboard, press enter on this and then just scroll down to quit. So what we're going to do next then is actually extract the emulator itself which we just downloaded using Retrobat. So if I right click on that shortcut, open file location, we're going to go to the emulators folder and from here we're just going to scroll down until we find Supermodel and here it is. Now this is everything we just downloaded using Retrobat. If I right click and copy everything just there and what I'm going to do next is just make a new folder on my desktop and just call this supermodel now obviously if you're storing your emulators for use with launchbox elsewhere then obviously do this elsewhere as long as it's connected through launchbox everything's gonna be fine so for this i'm gonna just paste everything i've just copied from retrobat into my supermodel folder so next thing i'm gonna do is obviously open up launchbox Okay, so what I'm going to do is just close up Add Games, and I'm going to go to Tools at the top, Import, ROM Files, and I'm going to go to Next, and select the files to import. So just here, I need to add folder, and this is where we need to look for the Sega Model 3 games. So in my case, they're on my desktop, and they're in my games folder just here. So if I select that folder, 
and go to next. What platform are you importing games for? Now you can either scroll down or you can type in Sega Model 3. And here it is, Sega Model 3. So either way, just make sure that says Sega Model 3. And I'm gonna press next. Choose an emulator. So we can drop this down. This is a fresh new install anyways, but I'm gonna press on add. And under emulator name, it should say Supermodel here, but we need to set this up. So once we open launch box, it knows where to look for that emulator. So an application path, I'm gonna select browse. And from here, I'm gonna to go to desktop and I need to look for that Sega Model 3 emulator that we just use Retrobat for. So what I'm gonna do is just go down to Supermodel folder and actually select supermodel.exe and open. Next thing I'm gonna do is press okay. Next. Now the next part of this is asking you where you want your game files to be. So in my situation, I'm gonna leave them where they are, which is on my desktop. So use the files in their current location. Next. Now, because I'm a big box user, as well as MU Movies user, which is a paid subscription, if you want the full experience with this inside of big box, I suggest check all. So everything is gonna download in terms of artwork and press next. Now configure any movies. Like I say, I am a MU movie subscriber. So I'm gonna press next. And I'm gonna press next again. And it's now scanning for the games. And as we can see, I've got all the Sega Model 3 games just here. I'm gonna press finish. And just allow this time, what it's doing is just gathering metadata from the Launchbox Games database. Okay, so we finally imported our games inside of Launchbox. And what this is going to do now is just download all of those artworks that I've selected through the setup process. You're also going to find Arcade up here on the side. And if I drop this down, we're going to find Sega Model 3. So before I start playing any games and show you how to set up a game in particular, I'm going to just let these files download. Okay, so we've downloaded the artwork and if I just go to image group, I can actually select 3D boxes from here and different pieces of art is going to be missing. So really, if this is your case, then just go to image group and you'll be able to find different artworks here, such as marquees, for example. But anyways, this is Model 3 now imported. So what I'm going to do is actually boot up a game. And one of my favorite games for this system is Scud Race. So if I select Scud Race, so I'm gonna boot up my game Scud Racer and certain Sega Model 3 games need configuring. So by pressing number six on my keyboard, this is gonna bring us into test menu and your digit five on your keyboard is going to move the arrow so we can go inside certain settings. So for this particular game, which is Scud Race, what I need to do is just go down to game assignments and I'm gonna use my number five key to go to link ID and by pressing number six, I'm gonna use single on this. If I press five again, to go to exit and six to exit out and five and six to exit out again. And if I press escape, that's gonna take us out of the game. Now, some of you might have issues with your controllers. So let's just close down Launchbox and actually go into the Supermodel emulator itself. So we've got Supermodel 3 UI, which is the purpose of this video, part of it anyways. So we're gonna just open this 
and very easily we can go over to control and from control if you're having issues where your controller are not reading when you're trying to play a game input system you might want to try d input or raw input for me x input works fine now if you want to map out your controller if we just go to config this is going to bring up a terminal as you can see and what we need to do is then map out controller from here so if i press enter it's going to say setting so player one start i'm going to press start on my controller if you want to bypass any of these just press enter so it says setting and then just use a random key but we obviously want a coin so press enter and i'm going to press select for my coin button and again i'm going to just use backspace to get rid of player two and for service a again if you don't need any of these then it's just a case really of backspacing or whatever key you want just to get rid of it and move forward So obviously if you're using a player 2 then you're going to need to plug in a different controller which is going to work for player 2. Now we've also got settings here for fighting game buttons. I'm not playing a fighting game but if you do want to play fighting games then you can obviously map out your controllers the same way as I'm doing already. So we've also got uh, mapping options here for the game spike out but again I'm not going to be playing that. We also got Virtual Striker, again this is separate mapping instructions, and we got Racing Game Steering Controls. Now for this case, for Scud Racer, I need to map this out. So once you're done, we can just close this down. And whilst we're here in the Sega Model 3 UI, we can actually play around with video settings for this. So if we just go to video, and if I drop down the resolution just here, screens are gonna vary. So in some cases, selecting one of these options isn't gonna do your game any justice. I'm gonna try 128 by 600. I'm also gonna ensure V-Sync is enabled, full screen is enabled. And I'm actually going to enable stretch and widescreen. So really video settings is just a case of playing around with things just here. So what I'm going to do next then is just close this down. And if I reopen Launchbox. And if I select my game again. So that's it for today's launch box and supermodel sega model 3 emulator setup guide so it's a bit of a process to get where we got but it's got you sega model 3 up and running plus it's got you that ui system which nobody can seem to find anymore so anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setups like this one today also check me out on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro